What's up guys, my name is Nash and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play CSGO or rather how to aim in CSGO. Uh, I've been playing CS for 13 years and uh, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you, how I aim and what I do. So let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about first thing when you join in on CSGO. The first thing you notice is a crosshair, the teal crosshair that I have. You can have two different crosshairs. You can change crosshair styles from the default to static to dynamic. Difference between static and dynamic is what dynamic does is as you move it goes more towards the edges of the screen. That means that your shots are not gonna hit anybody. Like they're not gonna be as precise as when you're standing still. When you're standing still, you are the most precise in the game. Of course, there is the ducking, but it's at the cost of movement. You become an easy target to be killed, so I don't, I don't recommend that. So be careful when you try to do that. The only way when you are moving and shooting is when you are just running away from somebody and acting like you are actually wanting to shoot them, but you just want to get away from them because you're not in a favorable position. Let's say the enemy is right there. You're obviously gonna stand still, but if they're like closer like here, you're just gonna, just gonna shoot and back away a little bit. The next thing I wanna be talking about is the sensitivity of your mouse. It is uh, quite important that in CSGO your sensitivity is quite low. Because if you have, let's say, sensitivity 4, if I try to aim a little bit, my mouse just goes crazy like really crazy and it's it's really hard to aim at somebody as you can see so yeah you gotta put like let's say 1.3 I use it at 1.3 because I think it's good but yeah like uh, try to keep your sensitivity low depending on your DPI uh, you should probably experiment because on lower it's like you are more preciser you can, you can easily shoot at the still target when you have a high sensitivity, it's rather hard to hit somebody. So yeah, uh, the way you change the sensitivity is you go to the console. But if you don't have the enable console, press escape. Go to help and options. Go to game settings. As you can see right here, enable developer console. Hit the tilde button and type sensitivity. Or sense tab and just change it right there. The next thing that is uh, still quite important for this topic is the video settings. Some people are asking me, do you need the high settings, do you need the lower settings, medium settings? Um, for me, I use everything on low because I think that a lot of lightning and unnecessary effects affect you when playing a game and you're not actually going to see the target from them. So. What I do is I go to options, I go to video settings, and everything that is high I put to very low or low. The only option that I leave is the multi-core rendering because of the multi-CPUs present in your system. But everything else I lower and the uh, resolution I lower too a bit. You can experiment with the lower resolutions, like whatever you feel comfortable with. I tried lower, but I guess it didn't work quite well with me. So I keep it at 1600 by 900. Reducing the resolution in-game sometimes help because the models in-game gets bigger. But it's kind of harder to shoot because everything around you feels like distorted. So I don't I don't reduce the resolution that that much, but yeah, I keep it at 1600 by 900. So it depends from you if you want to like experiment and keep it on lower resolutions and try to kill enemies like that. And if it feels good, like you can stay on that resolution. So as you have lower video settings, it actually affects your FPS in the game. You can of course uh, manipulate the FPS by lowering the settings. If you put them on higher, it depends how good your CPU and GPU are. If you have a good system, you will run probably around 400 FPS, 300 FPS. As I said, it depends from a computer. So once we have all that done, we can start practicing the shooting in CSGO. So the first thing is the recoil control. As you can see, every gun 
has its own particular pattern of when you're shooting it. So let's say AK, it has kind of a question mark sign recoil. So what you're going to do is try it and not shoot as many bullets as you can. Like, it depends. Like, if the enemy is right here, you can, of course, spray and uh, just shoot down below his uh, waist and try to kill him. It, it's quite easier that, that way. But if you're trying to shoot, like, let's say, the guy down there in the pit, you're not going to spray because not every bullet is going to hit. Probably like one or two are going to hit and the, and the rest are just going to scatter around. So you got to shoot like bullet by bullet or two by two. And uh, one important thing is using the shift button. If you use the shift button, as you can see, while I'm using shift, my recoil control is kind of better. And when I'm not using, it's kind of getting worse. So you you got to you got to control that like shift shoot that that is what i use when shooting people when you're standing still you are the most precise in the game of course there is a ducking but it's at the cost of movement you become an easy target to be killed so i don't i don't recommend that be careful when you try to do that so stand still and shoot stand still and shoot that is the most likely you're going to kill somebody so yeah, the good way of practicing shooting is dead matches. I always play a couple of dead matches before I actually go and play ranked matchmaking because I practice my shooting before actually doing the real shooting, right? Because you're not always going to be in the shape of uh, shooting really well in a game. So be sure to practice a lot in dead matches. You, you learn the, the recoil patterns, you learn when to shoot and when not to shoot. Like, it is not always smart to fire at the enemy. Sometimes you have to be sneaky and wait for a couple of enemies to pass by so you can spray them all down. So yeah, practice a lot in dead matches. They, they mean a lot to new players because you learn how to move while shooting and uh, where to shoot at the enemy. So guys, if you liked my video, click down the like button. It would mean a lot if you would subscribe. If you have a comment, leave it down below, I will read it. And uh, if you want me to do more of these like tutorials, be sure to comment down below. Thank you for watching.